If you are a Christian, it is time for you to really repent. Because Jesus is coming and there is not much time for you to prove to Jesus with all of your heart that you love him and will stand for his truth. I want to read to you the words of Jesus found in Mark chapter 8. Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus is coming. And most Christians are ashamed of him. They care more about upholding the worldly truths. And they don't care to hold to the truth of Jesus Christ. If you really love Jesus, you will go after him. You will preach his truth. You will not be ashamed of him, but you will stand with him. Don't be like the Christians of today who don't stand for the truth and who have never really repented of their sins. Make sure that you've really repented of your sins because Jesus is coming for a holy and pure bride. He's coming for those who love him and who prove to him with all of their heart that they're his servants. Do you really love Jesus? Are you proving with all of your actions and with all of your might that you love him? Do the people around you know that you love Jesus? Or are you like all the Christians in America who are denying Jesus, who aren't standing for his truth because they're ashamed? If you're ashamed of Jesus and his truth, he'll be ashamed of you. And you're like the majority of Christians who will perish. I hope that the judgment of Jesus doesn't come against you and your family. I hope that you really repent of your sins if you call yourself a Christian. May the grace of Jesus be with you and your family and not the judgment of God because Jesus is coming and most people still aren't prepared. Prepare your own heart. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. 